Okay, Rosh Chodesh Tov, Chodesh Tov for everybody. It's the month of Rachamim. We're going to do the Hilchot Teshubah of the Rambam. Because we have one ma- mandate. All the Selichot, for 40 days we do Selichot and this. What's the goal? Teshubah. Teshubah is to go back. So we'll do one Halacha in the Rambam and we'll call it a day. The Rambam in Chod Teshubah says, Kol Mitzvot Shevet Torah Ben Ase Ben Lo Ta'ase. All the commandments of the Holy Torah, whether it's a positive commandment, like tefillin. Let's say, Chalila Vachas, somebody forgets to put tefillin. Or, so, uh, you know, at least one time a day is a mitzvah to pray, right? This is a machloket, the Ramban and the Rambam. The Ramban says, prayer is always the Rabbanan. Only in a time like Corona, where it's a disaster, is a mitzvah to cry out. But the Rambam says no. Once a day, min Torah, from Torah law, you have to pray to Kutshabrihu. Now, let's say you skip prayer one day, right? You have to do Teshubah on that. And Kalvachomer, if you do Lashon Hara or don't keep Shabbat. And it doesn't matter whether you transgressed, went against the Torah by accident by negligence or on purpose. When you do Teshubah, you have to also say, Chatati Aviti, Pashati in front of Hashem. Lifne Hashem. Ish, Ish, Oishak. How do we know this? Because it says in the Torah, a man or a woman. Ki Yasu Mikol Chatata Adam Limol Mal Ba Hashem Vashma Nefesh Ahivi Itfedu At Chatatam Asher Chatu Azevi Durayim. So it says in the very clearly that if a man or a woman, they sin in front of God, whether they do it on purpose or by accident, they have to confess. Because the first, the worst thing in the world is ras- rationalization. If you would ask Hitler in his own mind if he's a good person or bad person, Number one person. he would think I'm a good person. Ah, you're killing millions of people. These are not people. See, always, so the te- you can only do Teshuvah if you admit the truth. Like, a great poet said, to thyself be true. You could trick everybody in the world, but you can't trick God and you can't trick yourself. Vojdan and Stan, a person has a conscience. And that conscience is because you have a neshama. So deep down, whenever you do something wrong, you know it's bad. But the Yetzirah always wants to do what? To rationalize it. Ah, oh, it's terrible to murder people, but Jews are not people. That's why we could kill six million of them, you see? That's the very, very dangerous thing of the Yetzahara. And it says, Ketzad mitvade. How do you confess your sins? He says, Ana Hashem, Chatati aviti pashati. Hashem, I have committed a sin in front of you. It's very important. Rosh Hashiva Zatzal, Rav Weinberg said, if you look in the Rambam, whenever he says you do Teshuvah, you have to say Lefanecha, in front of you. Because we have to know, Kadosh, 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 Hashem Sevakot, Melokol Ha'ares, Teshuvah, how do you come to Teshuvah? If you know every second God is watching you. And when you sinned, it's not like you could get away with it. Who were you sinning against? Against God. And He was right in front of your face. God is everywhere and any time He's with us. And therefore it says, and you have to enumerate what you did wrong. Hashem, I said Lashon Hara, I got angry, I didn't pray. I regret and I'm ashamed of the sin that I did and forever and ever I'm not going to go back to this sin. This is what vidu is, confession. Whoever cries to God more, that's why we sefaradim, we try to cry more. We do selichot, Ashkenazim only do it for a few days. We do it for 40 days because whoever does more, and I have an uncle, his name is Alicia. We have to know Baruch Hashem in Iran, they had tremendous chassidim. For 40 days, he told me that his grandfather was a big tzaddik, he used to fast in the days of Elul. So people used to know, all the day, times of Selichot, he used to fast. He only used to eat at night. So what I'm saying is, the and by the way, the Rambam also says, you can't just come to the Kohen and bring a korban. God doesn't take bribes. Before, Kohen is like the biggest rabbis. 
כי שפתי הכהן ישמרו דעת, יבקש תורה מפיהו. The ultimate rabbis, the last prophet tells us, is the Kohanim. Kohanim, before the person would bring an offering, they would make him feel so guilty, and they would compel him to do Teshubah. Because what is it worth? It's lip service. It's like praying, and then you're going to go do the sin tomorrow? That's, it's worthless. So the Kohanim would always make sure that the person would do Teshubah, then they would bring his Korban. So it says, also it's very important that we have to verbalize the Vidui. Yes, Hashem. Like David HaMelech. David HaMelech said, yes, I did the sin in, that in your eyes is like adultery with Bathsheba. Come out of denial. Denial, if, you, if you're in denial and rationalization and you say everything that I do is Qedoshim to you, everything I did is holy, I'm infallible, I can't make any mistakes, there's no hope for you. That's why the Rambam, when he starts Teshubah, he says Vidui. Vidui is, yes, I did maybe a thousand things wrong, but I, now I want to fix myself. But if you think in your own mind you're perfect, then you're never going to fix up. May Hashem give us a very meaningful month. Amen. A month that all the Israq Gezerot Tovot, Yeshuot Benechamot.